All right, we're here with Coach Eric Bell. Just finished an open practice, had a little scrimmage. Mm -hmm. uh, as you get ready for your first official scrimmage on Tuesday, how are you feeling about the state of your young team? Well, first of all, we're pretty healthy, which is good. Um, that's important. But, you know, overall, pretty good uh, showing by our group. And uh, we saw a lot of positive things. So we'll look at the video and break that down and then show them on, was it Tuesday? And then kind of, oh, sorry, Monday. On Monday, and then kind of go from there. So, but we're in a good spot. A lot of new faces on this team, I think 18. Um, you know, how much is that emblematic of what college athletics is like yeah, now? Yeah, pretty much it, it's, uh, it's the state of affairs as far as college sports is concerned, and we're a part of that. So, you know, we have to move in a way that makes sense according to the portal. You see a lot of things happening um, in realignment. Obviously, everyone always kind of jumps to football, but it has a huge impact on All women's sports, sports as well. Yep. Uh, soccer welcome in BYU, you know, that's always a contender for mm -hmm. new schools coming into the league. When you look at the landscape of the Big 12 heading into 2024, what are your initial thoughts on, on how deep and the, the parity in this league? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I think the new the new groups bring in a lot of good players and a lot of good teams. And so I think that's going to definitely elevate our league. And so I'm looking forward to playing them and seeing how they impact our league in a positive way. You know, transfer portal and NIL isn't new, but we're seeing it really seep into women's athletics, I think, in a big way this year. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, Texas Tech, you know, gave a bag to a pitcher. Mm -hmm. How do you feel uh, the support TCU NIL has been for soccer in your program? Yeah, it's been pretty good, and uh, we're appreciative of the efforts. And, you know, it, <laughs> it's a state of affairs, state of the union as far as college sports is concerned. We're just part of that. You've never been afraid to schedule ambitiously. You've got Julie. a really tough preseason to go along Julie. with a difficult league. Yep. Uh, what, what is your kind of philosophy on, on getting your team ready, especially a team that has so many new faces? Right. Well, it's all about, for me, it's a competing at the highest level and competing to win Big 12 championships and competing to win national championships. And so, you know, if you're not playing the best teams, then you don't really have a real good gauge of where you are, right? And so, for me, it's about playing good teams and getting tested and getting exposed and then fixing those issues and then kind of winning and, and you know, play those teams in the non-conference. And obviously we want to win them all, um, but I know they're definitely going to prepare us for the rigors of Big 12. And that's important to me as we try to win a Big 12 championship. You've been at TCU for a while now. Yeah. I think this is year 13, 13 yeah. for you. Yeah. Uh, the standard has been almost impossibly high, yeah. um, really since you know your third or fourth year mm -hmm. on campus. How do you continue to, to keep that bar so high for yourself and, and how do you continue to, to want to attack that challenge year in and year out? Well, I've, you know, the goal has always been to, to compete to win national championships for me. And, you know, I'm a, a 70s baby and I saw Michael Jordan hit the shot in 82, right? And from that day on till now, I've still been, the quest is to win a national championship. And so I've always wanted to do that, been close, but never done it. And so that was, that's what drives me. That's what drives me as long as, as well as, you know, being a teacher and a mentor to, to young females. So those things, those two things get me up in the morning and allow me to, to really drive our group to be successful. It's an Olympic year, uh, big, big Trinity Rodman goal today mm -hmm. for Team USA. Yeah. What do you see that do for the state of soccer when, when the national teams are good? Also, World Cup will be coming to America soon. How important is that for you and your growth of your program? Yeah, well? you know, I think uh, hats off to Emma Hayes and her staff. They've only been there a couple of months, right? And they've been with the team not very long, but you can already see the changes that they made with the group and how they play. And that's really hard to do, especially with the national team if you're not with full time. And so I, I think the soccer that they're playing is a much more attractive brand of soccer than I, that I like to see. And you know, hopefully that transfers and trickles down to the younger, the younger generation as far as the, ty the, style of pocket, the style of soccer that we can actually play. Speaking of style of soccer, um, really physical, you know, yeah. uh, friendly fire scrimmage yeah. here for you guys today. Yeah. Uh, it's always been your, you've never been afraid to play physical, play fast. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be what we can expect oh, for from sure. this team this year? For sure. We have to, I mean, some people prescribe just to do that, right? And so we have to be buttoned up in order to be able to deal with physical teams, but also play the style of soccer that we want to play. And then last question, um, there has been such a spotlight on women's sports this year. Um, you know, you can point to college basketball as a big reason for that, but it seems the trickle effect is real. You've always had great fan support at TCU. How do you see kind of the, the global growth of women's sports in general impacting what you're able to do here on campus? They say it's huge, right? You see it with player wages now, with women making a lot more money, and that's awesome. And, you know, hopefully that trend continues. And we've got two leagues, two professional leagues in our country now, and I think that's going to also give young women an opportunity to play professional soccer, which is awesome. Thank you so much. Yep.